Hey you guys, it's me Jess and I'm back again and I am back with another video and this is going to be my last video of the night, okay? I'm working on my Dooney series and um, I have some bags that I had already ordered that I had not opened yet because I was waiting to shoot the video and I should have already been done it. But honestly, I, I, want, I want my bags. I want to open it so I didn't want to wait um any longer so i said you know what i don't care it's not like i'm going to work in the morning so i was like you know what i don't care how late it gets how tired i am i'm going to do this video even if i don't upload it all at once but it's going to get done okay so this is my fourth video and my final video for the night i do have about three more other deliveries that are coming up and then i'm going to take a serious break like for a while as far as ordering any more bags but anyway the first one i did was the um the pebble grain hobo the small pebble pe the small pebble grain hobo in the jeans color which was just absolutely beautiful and so much fun i can't wait to wear her then i did the small denison hobo in the olive another beautiful another beautiful bag very which color i'm very much in love with the denison so much in love with the denison um and those i got really great deals the pep the small pebble grain hobo in the jeans 89 dollars off the i love dooney website right so if you love dooney and burke i love dooney needs to be your best friend i'm not saying never to order anything off of dooney and burke but to be quite honest i saw a lot of bags on the i love dooney website that were also on the dooney burke website same bag same color and i love dooney had it drastically cheaper so i mean if you want a bag and you see it on the i love dooney that's a no-brainer get it on i love dooney i would only get it off the of dooney and burke if the, it was sold out on i love dooney and you really wanted it and the dooney and burke price wasn't too bad so but anyway, and right before this, I did the um, the Dennis and Hobo in the Plum Wine. Absolutely stunning bag, and I have it here still because I just literally shot the video. And I, of course, I still have it out because um, all my items are in here, which I will be transferring to the new bag that we are going to talk about, okay? So um, this is not my first time at the rodeo with this particular Dooney and Berg bag. This is the Kylie, this is a pebble grain um, Kylie, Kylie Hobo in small, okay? So um, I already have a Kylie Hobo. As a matter of fact, the Kylie Hobo was the first um, Dooney and Burke bag I ever bought, which I am going to do a review on, okay? That bag is already opened up, but it's still stuffed like it was when I first got it. So, but anyway, I don't want to waste too much time, but yeah. Pebble Grain Small Kylie Hobo, okay? Um, I got an amazing deal on this bag. I love the color. Um, I don't... Well, I do have a bag in this color. I have a... Um, what is it called? I do have a coach bag, the Bryant Carry All, which is in a color, this kind of taupe color, okay? So, um, it did come in a box, but the box has another person there I bought from my mom. So, I really didn't think it was important for me to bring the box. You know what the Junior Burke box looks like. Uh, the most important thing is the bag. It was still in the plastic, so. All right, you guys. So, this is it. Okay? This is beautiful. I really love this this color. I really don't buy it. They did. I had a kind of hard time deciding which one I wanted because they had the taupe and they had another color called ostrich. I believe was it ostrich? Yeah, I think it was called ostrich. And the colors were pretty similar, but um, I kind of gravitated towards the taupe. So that is the the color that I picked. That's what we ended up getting. Okay, but if you you know, order Dooney and Burke, you will notice that they do have some colors that are similar that you can kind of swap one for the other, like, you know, like the mushroom, the elephant, the taupe, they're kind of all a little similar, okay? So, I sh actually, um, I'm going to get the other two hobos that I bought to see if they are similar in size, right? But here we go. This is just a beautiful classic bag. Bag. I really love the um, pebble grain leather. It feels so good. And like I said, this is um, Dooney and Burke's signature. This is the first like leather material that they really, that they started out with. Of course, they have others, the Florentine, which is their, one of their best, which I'm really excited about because I do have a Florentine bag coming in. Um, they also have the ostrich. I really wasn't sure how I felt about the ostrich at first, but I think... I like to get at least one ostrich bag. I really like that textured 
um, leather. But yeah, this is a, it's just a really simple bag, but it's beautiful and it's a classic and it can go with anything. I mean, this can be, of course, going to work, going on a date, going out with friends. Like it's really one of those bags that it could be casual, like, okay, I'm just going to wear, throw on some jeans, a nice shirt go somewhere but it can also be I have a nice dress I'm it, it, it you can it can be casual but it can also be like really dressed up okay so let's talk about um the pricing and the dimensions okay so this pebble grain small Kylie hobo was originally $328 and this is a deal that you can get right now okay because this the other bags I did my for the, the first three videos of my Dooney series those were all from the old code the old coupon code love, okay, which was, no, what am I saying? The coupon code um, mom, which was from, you know, before Mother's Day. Now, this is the code that they're using right now, um, which should still be available, which is the spring code, okay? I don't know how much longer the spring code is going to be in use, right? But it is working right now. So this, so once again, $328 is a retail, on sale right now on the I Love Dooney website for $199. So that's $229, $129 off. But, and I don't know why you wouldn't do this. If you type in the code SPRING, right? And hopefully you'll see, you should be seeing this, you know, around the time that it's going on. You're going to pay $99, okay? $99, and it comes in some beautiful colors. I actually bought two of these. So I have this one. This is a taupe color, which I absolutely love. This is a beautiful color, and this is very neutral. This can go, go with so many um, things. And I have a lot of shoes that are taupe. I have some beautiful high heel sounds that are taupe. So this is not a hard bag to match. Um, but I got this in the taupe, and I also got it in red. And that should be coming on Wednesday. So I definitely will be doing a video on that all right so let's talk about the dimensions so the strap drop is seven inches which this is going to be interesting because um i think i'm definitely going to have to adjust this i'm not going to adjust on camera because i think it's going to take me a little while but i definitely will be adjusting this why because i know for a fact seven inches i haven't tried on yet but i have a feeling seven inches might be too small because um when i did the um coach pillow tabby video i remember the strap was seven dollars i mean, what am i saying seven inches and of course that was not an adjustable strap and that adjustable strap and that's why i started using it as a um a crossbody but one of the things i like about this bag is that most of the Dunienberg bags are very easy to adjust okay so as you can see i can make this bag a lot i can make this strap a lot bigger Okay, so I, but I'm going to do this off the camera. I need to play with it. All right, so let's talk about the, um, the regular dimension. So height is 6.75. Um, the width is three, um, width right here, 3.75 and the length is 10.5. Okay. So, um, but like I said, I love this bag. It feels amazing. I mean, if you're already familiar with Pebble Grain, you already know how it feels. It feels beautiful. Um, the leather straps, such great quality. Like, you can definitely see, like I say, they do not play games with their leather. The craftsmanship is just absolutely beautiful. Even if you look at the way that this, the leather straps of the shoulder strap are sealed. If you take care of this bag, you should have no problem, okay? And of course, you have the beautiful Dooney and Burke emblem at the front, which is 14 karat gold plated, okay? Another great, and I love the braided um, tassel on, on the zipper. I love that. Also, um, look at this, you guys. That zipper. Now, this I'm excited about because I want to see if my um, phone will fit in this um, in the zipper. Okay, we're going to see. It, it should be able to. Now, I know if you have a, because my phone is pretty big. I have the Android Samsung Galaxy Ultra um the Samsung Galaxy Ultra um, 
cell phone which is pretty big so i'm very interested to see if it's going to fit in here now if you have an iphone it definitely because i do have my son's i don't know what i did with it but i do have my son's um old iphone so i know for a fact an iphone would actually fit in here but the android we're gonna see okay so anyways um and before i go um any further i want to show you guys now i am going to do a separate video reviewing this but this is the regular kylie hobo this is actually the first Dunian burke bag i've ever bought is it the first one I ever owned? No. I had a best friend many years ago, I want to say like 14, 15 years ago, who bought me my first Dooney and Burke bag, but it was nylon. And I'm telling you guys right now, it's not every material I love. I hate nylon bags. Never buy me a nylon bag. I hate nylon bags and I hate patent leather bags. I hate those two materials, nylon and patent leather bags. And I'm not really a big fan of bags that are too much cloth material. I don't mind the canvas material, like the coated canvas, like when Coach does their coated canvas. I don't mind that, but I really don't like to bags that, you know, have like, just feel like a piece of clothing. But like I said, I hate patent leather, hate nylon. So those are two colors I would never get. But this is the first Dooney and Burke bag that I ever purchased for myself. And I didn't, I had been told y'all that I was going to show it to you in a video. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do a separate re review. I might, but I just want to show you this and look at this beautiful color. Now this, um, I want to believe, I think this is a mustard. I don't think it's the dandelion because the dandelion is a little bit lighter. It doesn't say, but I can always go back into my order on the Dooney and Burke website. Now, this I actually bought directly from Dooney and Burke website because I didn't even know about the, um, the I Love Dooney. But the reason I had pulled it out, I went back in there and I pulled her out of her, um, in her little storage area because I wanted to compare it with the Kylie. This is the Kylie Hobo. This is how big the real deal is. This is the original, this is the regular size of the, um, Pebble Grain Kylie Hobo beautiful bag. I love the Kylie. I actually like the Kylie better than the other Pebble Green Hobo I did a video on last year, right? But as you can tell, this is a pretty big bag and you can get a lot of stuff in here, okay? This is a smaller one, okay? So as you can see, you can see a big difference, okay? Now, it's not like the regular Kylie makes this look like a munchkin, but you can definitely see it's a pretty significant difference, right? But once again, it's not like this is a tiny micro bag, okay? So this, we can get a lot of, we can definitely put a lot of great stuff in here just like we would this. It just depends on what your preference is. But yeah, this is the difference in the two sizes. So definitely can tell the difference, but it's not ridiculous it's not like this is a little munchkin okay but i just wanted to show y'all that this is what the regular size kylie hobo looks like and um i think i will do a separate video with this and a what's in my bag on this kylie hobo the regular one but let's get back to the small okay so the only thing that i can see might be an issue is the straps but once again the straps are a are adjustable and you know i will do that okay but everything else is beautiful um, so let's go ahead and open it up. We are going to take out the stuffing, okay? And remember, you always keep your stuffing because that's what's going to give your bag structure, okay? So you never want to get rid of that. All right, so I'm just removing the, the stuffing for now so that I can um, put some stuff in there and let you guys see all that can fit in this bag. So basically everything that I put in the Denison Hobo, I'm going to transfer to our small Kylie Hobo, okay? And of course, um, Kylie came with her duster, okay? But yeah, I definitely, um, in regard to my Denison Hobo, the Plum Wine, once again, I love that bag. That bag is not going anywhere. Yeah, I was a little disappointed that it was someone did, own, you know, buy it and return it because their stuff was in there. But at the same time, it's not like the bag is available, right? And if the bag had scratches or wasn't in good condition, I definitely would return it. But the bag is actually in great condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with the bag. It's still a brand new bag. And, um... Like I said, it's not like there's any more, you know. I just want to know where is the duster. So I will definitely be contacting someone tomorrow to find out where um, the duster is, okay. But anywho, 
this is our small Kylie hobo right and I love it already like I said it feels so amazing and of course you have your signature red lining that Dooney Burke always does and I love it because it really illuminates so nothing can really get lost in your bag because you're gonna see everything and I love the fact that we have so many compartments so of course we have that zipper compartment there which I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all and all Dooney and Burke bags do come with your yellow registration card. Um, so I definitely will be registering mine. Um, I never registered the yellow one and it's too late. And honestly, I mean, I take care of my bags. I really don't see myself really needing to use it, but it's not gonna hurt. Okay, so we have the zipper here. This is a zipper compartment. We have another compartment here. So you could stick some cards in there. And we have another compartment here. So we have a lot of places that we can put things. And we also have, I love this feature. I really love that they do this. The key, you know, the um, the key attachment, okay? And I already showed y'all um, the zipper in the back where I would, m my opinion, I would use this to put my phone in, okay? But once again, the bag feels really good. Now, what I like about this bag, it does have a little bit of squishiness to this, which is always good because that's gonna mean it's gonna be a comfortable carry, okay? So anyway, guys, what we're gonna do now, because um, I don't, the other videos were a little long. I don't want, you know, it to go on. But guys, I'm telling you, I definitely will be buying another dentist. And like this, the way it feels is just, um, it's just amazing, okay? So what I'm going to do now, same routine, you guys. I'm going to, because I really want to see how much can fit in this bag um, comfortably. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything that's in the dentist and hobo into our small Kylie hobo okay so let me go ahead and put the keys in and like I said I think this is such a neat feature because I have had it hasn't happened too often but I have had times where um the bag you know sometimes especially with those open totes that's why I don't like open bags um sometimes your key can fall out okay and like I said my car is keyless like I have to fall but it'll start, you know, as long as I press the button, I'm good. So you don't, you wanna make sure you know where your keys are at all times, okay? So phone and glasses are going in. And guys, these are things that I carry with me every day, okay? The only issue I'm having right now is which bag am I gonna be carrying this week? Because I don't know. But yeah, so I got my lotion. Okay, Bath and Body Works lotion. Lip gloss by EOS. I got a pen, my purple pen. Purple is my favorite color. More tampons because this is that time of the month. Another tampon. I normally carry about two of those. You always want to have hand sanitizer, especially if you're somebody like me who eats the snacks in the car sometimes, but you're stopping at the gas station. So <laughs> another pen. I always like to have at least two pens. Another lip gloss. Well, this is more of a lip balm. This is a lip gloss. I need to order some more lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. Um, my earbuds, of course. And last but not least, our, is my, I love this little ID card, like, I think I might order another one, I don't know, if they go back on sale, cause I got these really cheap, um, but yeah, I love these, um, the coach, um, ID case, alright, and guys, this is it, if I'm going out every day, this is all I need in the bag, and once again, I keep showing you guys, once I put everything in this bag, look how much more space I have, okay, so everything is fitting in the bag, and like I said, I love this red because as I'm looking, oh, another thing I love, look how comfortably I can open the bag. Like, even it's zipper, but I can open it and look at everything. Some bags are so tight, you can't really like just open it and just really look up to see, hey, what all do I have? So the, the bottom of the bag is not as stiff as the other bags, but that's actually a good thing because... I don't know. I just feel like I can already tell it's going to be a good carry. I feel like it's going to like just really, you know, um, be very comfortable as I'm holding it because you're not going to have that stiffness that's in the way. Okay, guys. So everything I needed is in here. So I'm zipping it up. Um, oh, I did say I was going to see. Almost forgot. I was supposed to see if my phone can fit in that little zipper. Now, like I said, I know for a fact that the iPhone can fit in there. So let's see. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to put, all right, so I was trying to put my phone 
in here and it didn't fit. But if you do have an iPhone, I can almost guarantee you your iPhone is gonna fit in here, okay? So, I mean, but that's fine. I don't have to put in there. There are other things I could put in here. But yeah, but if you have an iPhone, the iPhone will definitely fit in there for sure. So um, I'm gonna get the other hobos that I bought just to do a quick size comparison before I stop the video, okay? So anyway, let's um, take a peek at how this looks. Okay, so once again, our small Kylie hobo. All right, so this bag, um, like I said, I think it would look, just carrying it like this, to me, is very nice. Let me just straighten myself out, y'all. Yeah, so I think, and it even looks cute with what I got on right now, to be honest. It, it actually looks cute with the pink, but like I said, this taupe can go good with so many different things. But I actually like the way it looks right now. Like I say, another grown woman bag. Like I said, and I love, love, love. You can see, I'm telling it just screams quality. And guys, I cannot get over the Dunienberg emblem that's in the 14 karat gold plating. And you guys know I love gold. Like, that's all I wear, so... Um, I love it. But yeah, if you just wear this on the crook of your arm, uh, to me, it looks so sophisticated just on the crook of the arm like this. This is so cute. I love it. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, guys. So this is actually good. I was a little nervous because I'm like seven inches, seven inches might be too short, but I have it right here. The only thing is does I prefer the way the other hobo it's still a good carry and it's still comfortable but I think the other hobos that I bought I, that's why I want to adjust the strap because those were a little bit longer had a longer drop so I felt like it felt a little bit more comfortable it's still not bad you know but you see how my arm is kind of like out um it's kind of like out this way I think it's because it's so high up so because I'm looking here with the other hobos I had, and I'm going to get it to compare, it came down a little bit more. So I had um, more of a, you know, it was a little bit more comfortable. But this is still not bad. It's not uncomfortable. Am I going to wear it? Of course. You know, but um, that's the only thing. The the strap does need to be adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and get the other, um, the other hobos just to compare the size. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So... Okay, guys, so as you can see, they're all about the same size. They're not, like, really, it's not really a big difference. So, basically, if you're going to be, like, you know, changing out bags between these hobos, what, you know, everything that you have can fit. So, I mean, there really is no difference. I think I think the, the Kylie is probably a little bit taller. Um, the the um the denison hobo and the other pebble gray hobo do have a better structure to them as far as like can you see how this i can literally like squish which i'm not mad about to be honest you know because I, even when i'm still holding you still have that structure so of course it is a very structured bag um and you know of course looking at it but you know that you can squish it and do all this i can feel my materials like all my items like i can feel it under here okay as opposed to and, and also i forgot to show y'all the kylie hobo doesn't have any feet okay and this bag was 99 dollars. there is no feet here and let me see the other hobo yeah the the, the kylie hobo does not come with feet okay so so I you so I definitely got a lot more bang with my buck as far and like I said I love all of them but see this just for some of you see how it's so stiff and hard here so I cannot feel my items when they're under here I can't it's just a stiff foundation a stiff hard foundation which I like even this same thing stiff hard foundation so when you have your things in here you're not feeling it um at the bottom but this bag the kylie hobo yes i can feel everything i could feel the phone i could feel my glasses i could feel the lotion you could feel all the items in here but like i say even though it's a little bit squishy which is okay it doesn't matter because when i'm holding it you're, you're not seeing that okay so honestly I actually like wearing it like this. Like, if I'm going on somewhere, I have no problem just wearing it on the crook of my arm. I think it really looks cute on the crook of the arm. But um, I definitely like it this way as well. The only thing, like I said, I definitely will be adjusting the strap for sure. Because 
when I try this on, it's a big difference. You see, this, I, when I, it, it's a big difference when I, you know, the way this one is. Now, this is stuffed. So, of course, a stuffed bag is still, but you see how the drop starts, like, right here? And this, it's, like, all the way up here, like, literally right under my shoulder. Not, you know, I still have a little bit of space, but um, I, I think I would prefer if it was to just, and then you see, even when I'm walking, you can actually still see what bag I have. That's another thing I like. When I, when, if I'm going to wear a shoulder bag, I still want to have it on my shoulder and you can still see who, oh, this is a, oh, you got a Dunia Burke bag, okay. With this, you cannot see anything, okay. So this is definitely going to, I'm definitely adjusting the strap for sure. Okay, same thing. Look at the drop. As I'm walking, you can still see, oh, she's got her Dunia Burke bag, okay. You can still see it same thing well this is the the denison hobo of course but once again a nice longer drop so those uh, so i love that so i mean this is an easy fix it's just a matter of adjusting so yeah this bag um the bag here this will definitely be adjusted so you can really see what's going on okay and guys i will be doing a separate review i wasn't going to but you know it would be fun to play around with this bag and see what fits and like i said this bag is stuffed just the way i got it a year ago because i did order this i think i ordered this like last march i believe so i definitely would like to play around this bag and see what fits in here too of course i'm pretty sure everything's gonna fit in here because everything fits in here but um yeah so i'm definitely happy with this purchase as you can see um, oh, let me move this so y'all can see if I got this other bag in the way. So, like I said, I did want y'all to see both so that you can decide which size you think would be best for you. Like I say, I love this small size so much. It fits, fits in here and then some. I could still put my other full size wallet in here and still have like plenty of space. But, um, but this is also a beautiful size too. And I love, love, love this color. So now this Kylie Hobo, the big one, I know for a fact it's still on the Dooney Work website, I believe. Um, and this, like I say, is on, I think it's on the Dooney Burke website also, but it is on I Love Dooney. And like I said, $99 and they have quite a few colors. Um, well, let me, let me stop lying. It's not a whole bunch of colors to choose from. It really is. It's in a bunch. Um, but I got the tote, but I did order the red. I thought $99 was a great deal. Okay. So anyway, you guys, that is it for the video. Okay. Love, love, love this bag. I can't wait for the red to come. When the red comes, I will be doing a quick video on that. Um, not really so much. I probably would just do the unboxing. Um, and I'll talk about the red color as well. And, you know, that'll be it. Okay, guys. So anyway, once again, $99 with the code SPRING on um, the I Love Dooney website. This is a great carry. It is a beautiful bag. I love the way it feels. I love that pebble green leather. Definitely in love with the 14 karat gold um, plated um, Dooney and Burke emblem. Like I said, my only issue with the bag, which isn't really an issue, is the strap. I felt like they adjusted the strap way too short. So I definitely will be playing around with it to see how I can make it a longer bag. I know for a fact it is um, it is adjustable. All right, you guys. Anyways, so that is it for this video. It still ended up being almost 30 minutes. What can I say? But anyway, um, I'm just happy I was able to get all this done because I really wanted to show you guys what I had and I wanted to be able to open up my bags because I like doing the videos um, and opening it up on camera, okay? So, um... I will be um, getting another, I'll be getting some more deliveries this week. So I definitely have the red um, Hobo, Kylie Hobo coming up, which I'm looking forward to. I did order a coin purse, really looking forward to that. Um, I also ordered the Florentine Satchel. Can't wait to do a video on that. I guess I might go live with some of those. But um, Florentine Satchel is coming along with another Denison Hobo, the larger one. Can't wait to see that because, like I said, this is this small one. And as you can see, it's not small. Dooney and Brooke always does that. They'll have a bag in their small collection, but it really isn't small at all. And um, I also have the Pebble Grain, the large Pebble Grain um crossbody 
which I am looking forward to that as well, okay? Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for um, stopping by and watching the video. I hope that you guys are enjoying the Dooney series. I'm so in love with Dooney and Berg. Um, I still will be putting out videos on Coach because I still do have some Coach um, bags I have not worn yet. Um, and I know for a fact they're not on YouTube. Video Bags that are not even available on the site anymore, okay? So I will be doing those as well. All right, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free. Like the video so it shows up in the algorithm. So it'll be, you know, people will see it. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.